this session is about interfacing bluetooth module to microcontroller it can be interfaced to any microcontroller however in this example we are interfacing to atmel atmega 32 microcontroller as explained in the previous videos of AVR microcontrollers, specifically about the serial port programming, same program is used, absolutely there is no difference. The microcontroller is at mega32 header file is there. Since we are using printf statement, stdo.h file is included. And there is a delay function is there, delay.h is used. We want to transmit the data of A2D converter data through serial port. So this is the project. Remotely we want to monitor by using Bluetooth device of serial port data where the ADC that is the microcontroller is measuring the value from the sensor which will convert into digital form and will communicate remotely by using Bluetooth. So to begin with in the program we have initialized the serial port and the baud rate we want is 9600. So for that the constant to be loaded is 33. Since it is a full duplex so in the status register is initialized correspondingly. After that ADC is being initialized where the conversion rate is 1 megahertz and we want to transmit 8 most significant bits only because whenever we are transmitting through serial port we want to transmit 8 bits remotely. So in the while loop we are continuously reading the ADC data and by using printf statement the that value which is a, a decimal in terms of decimal value we want to transmit and there is a delay of one second again it is in the infinite loop as far as this read adc function is concerned as you can see it is the same as in the previous avr videos we have first set the we have loaded ADMUX with the channel number that is the channel number 0 and then we have said start conversion of analog to digital form and then wait for end of conversion and once the conversion is done then read the ADCW right shift by 2 bits so that we are interested in MSB part. So this MSB will be converted into decimal form and will be printf that means through serial port it will be transmitted as you can see from this program nowhere we have mentioned bluetooth initialization absolutely not even a single line of code is written for bluetooth that means the bluetooth if you are using in a normal mode without using any commands then it is it will simply convert the electrical signal into electromagnetic waves and transmit. You don't need to initialize any Bluetooth. However, if you want to make it if master or slave, if you want to change the bird rate, then of course you have to initialize. Otherwise, by default, the Bluetooth uses the standard bird rate that is 9600. That is the reason in the program we have initialized the microcontroller to the 9600 baud rate and we, we want 8 bit data to be transmitted one stop bit and no parity bit. So this is what by default the Bluetooth is also following. You have a choice of choosing the Bluetooth device. One is as you can see blue link where it is a 5 pin connector is provided. When you buy the Bluetooth device, what we see is majorly, first of all, is the uh, rate of communication. As you can see, it is transmitting from 9600 bits per second to 
eleven thousand one lakh fifteen thousand two hundred bits per second, and it is using UART for communication. So that is the second important point. And as we know, the bird uh, the the uh, frequency band it uses is around two point four gigahertz, and the operating speed uh, operating uh, power is five volts. So and uh, obviously the dimensions is important. So these are the sum of the factors. Plus, will it support master mode and will it support slave mode? That means as and when we want to make it master, or you want to make it slave, so that in case of a network the communication y the device should be in a position to change it so these are some of the points we should look for and as far as interfacing to the microcontroller is concerned we look for transmitted data received data reset so that whenever we require we should be in a position to give the commands so that is a reset pin and 5 volts is the power supply ground so this is as far as the uh, blue link interface is concerned the other important factor while choosing the Bluetooth is about the operating uh, uh, power. That means how much amount of current a Bluetooth device will consume because in case of a battery operated devices you need to worry. For example, as can be seen here, the power consumption is around 60 milliampere's is maximum this Bluetooth device will consume. So in a battery operated system, so you need to worry about how much power, power is being drawn. So this is as far as Blue Link is concerned. But we will be using another Bluetooth device that is HC uh, serial Bluetooth product where they have models 0305. 05 is for civil uh, applications. So again, uh, they have range of products to make it the master and slave. But you should know first of all what is the password by default the bluetooth is using you can reset the password but however the hc05 password is 1234 is the password so whenever you make a communication link you need to give the password then only link will be established then you can see the uh, pin configuration and the dimensions of the bluetooth device and uh, the of course the circuit diagram is provided but what is important is if you are in as can be seen uh, the some important uh, AT commands of the Bluetooth HC05. For example, whenever you send a command AT plus role by using printf statement uh, or any uh, other uh, way of transmitting the data through serially, then this fellow will become as a slave mode since the role you said is zero. If I say uh, AT plus role is equal to 1, then it acts as a master. So this is how a Bluetooth can be configured by uh, changing the control registers. Similarly, uh, there are some commands where if you say AT plus C mode is equal to 1, then it will randomly pair with the other Bluetooth module. Or if you want to reset the password of the Bluetooth module then you can say AT plus PSW through serial port if you transmit then it will uh, whatever is the value you have set will be set will be the password of the Bluetooth if you want to change the baud rate of the Bluetooth then you can say AT plus UART is equal to 9600 and then the size of the data and uh, the number of stop bits this is how you can uh, write to the serial port or if you want to give any name you can give the name at plus name so the you can refer the data sheet of the bluetooth you can you will get see the information of other uh, at commands so one can change the password one can change the operating speed one can change the mode of operation whether it is a master or slave so these are this is how one can configure the bluetooth just to begin with in this program we are not using any at commands to change the configuration of the bluetooth whatever is by default the bluetooth factory programmed one where 9600 is the baud rate we have and pair with any nearby bluetooth 
is the configuration we are using so by default values and the password is 1234 so if you use this program that is example 33 of our sample programs so then this will initialize the microcontroller serial port for a 9600 baud rate in full duplex and it will continuously transmit the data from the adc of 8 mo 8 msb bits so if you remember the design of the board there is a bluetooth connector is there on our board that is on our board side if you see there is the outermost on the pcb there is a blue connector is there so wherever this blue is written that means that is pin number one so pin number one we have connected to the uh, the microcontrollers pd2 pin then pin number two is vcc pin number three is ground and pin number four and pin number five directly from the microcontroller we have connected pd0 and pd1 that means pd0 which is a rxd pin is connected on pin number four and pin num uh, and uh, pd1 which is a txd pin is connected to on pin number five so you don't need any max 232 ic for interfacing the bluetooth device because the bluetooth is working on 5 volts power supply so if you see the any bluetooth device as you can see it is a uh, 6 pin connector but we are not using any feedback so the first pin that is where the key is written that is the first pin should go to the pd2 where we can read uh, we can reset the bluetooth device and uh, second pin is VCC on the Bluetooth, so it should go to the second pin on our board. Third is ground, third is ground. Fourth pin, what is written as a TXT, so that TXT pin we are connecting to PD0. So in our case, PD0, which is a RXT. So that means the, uh, the microcontroller's RXT pin, PD0, should be connected to the uh, Bluetooth TXT. Similarly, the RXD pin, that is the fifth pin here, which is PD1, should be connected to the TXD pin of the microcontroller without using any MAX232 IC. So that is what is the interface is concerned. On the PCB, as you can see, the if you see where this blue is written, that means that is pin number one, PD0. The next one is VCC, third pin is ground. So in no case, you cannot mount this Bluetooth in a reverse order. The mounting should be always, the LED should be always, if you see, it should be like outside the PCB. So LED will be bending. That means the Bluetooth IC itself should be outside the PCB. So the direction is very, very important because if you reverse it, then the VCC and ground will be reversed, which may damage the Bluetooth device. Or the moment if you insert, if you give the power to the board, that means now the LED, power LED on the Bluetooth will be blinking. That means it is ready to communicate or ready to establish a link with another Bluetooth device. Fine. So let's write a program. So search. Searching is okay. So now you can load that program, which is example number 33, which is a Bluetooth and ADC example. So once you program it, now this is ready to communicate with any other Bluetooth device. So in our case, either you can use com laptop Bluetooth device or a mobile Bluetooth device or some other microcontroller as a Bluetooth device. Right now, we will use the Bluetooth device of the mobile phone. Okay, so let me configure my mobile phone. So as you can see, there is a, you need to enable the, there is an icon bluetooth so enable that 
the moment if you enable then you will have to switch it on of course now it will search for the bluetooth modules so there is a last button you say scan so that it will it will scan the nearby bluetooth modules once the scanning operation is done then as you can see it indicates the sta scanning status it will indicate the number hc05 is the name of the bluetooth device then you can pair with the bluetooth where while pairing the password when it ask you set the password as a 1234 once the pairing is done now you require a software to communicate with the bluetooth device so uh, you can download a app there are number of apps are available one of the app is called blue terminal as you can see there is a blue terminal app is available so if you start this application initially it says that it is not connected the blue screen will be there now you can connect there is a connect device option is there you can say connect the device now it will display the uh, bluetooth right now we are using hc05 so that 98 d3 319019 d0 is the number of that bluetooth device so every bluetooth has a unique number so we need to pair with the specific one so i will connect to that specific one as you can see now it has paired and now the data the adc data is continuously is transmitting as you can see byte by byte it is receiving and it is displaying on the mobile screen similarly you can also see the blinking is not frequently happening whenever it is transmitting the data on the board so it is not continuously blinking the blinking rate has changed and similarly whenever it is transmitting you will notice that the data on your mobile phone it is acquiring so instead of displaying on mobile phone you can receive remotely by using some other computer and you can save into your database you can plot it in real time or you can analyze and you can communicate it back for some control decisions or you can make it as a wireless sensor networks so this is a simple way to demonstrate that a, a microcontroller interfacing bluetooth and then without using any it command still you can make a network of the device by pairing and passing the password and now we are transmitting a to d converted data and displaying on the mobile screen where we are connected we have used a hc05 bluetooth device now as you can see now i will i will i will use the option called disconnect the device the moment if i say disconnect the device now you will notice that the uh, my uh, the bluetooth is now continuously blinking that means the link is failed now it is ready to make a network with any other bluetooth device so that is how one can interface the bluetooth device to the microcontrollers and it could be any microcontroller it could be avr it can be arm processor it can be pic controller because we have not used any at commands for uh, programming the bluetooth it is just a txt and rxt pins are connected so it is immaterial which controller you have used because the bluetooth can understand only as far as hc05 is concerned is a uart that is asynchronous communication even if you want to program it the bluetooth understands only at commands so it is immaterial in which language you have written which controller you have used finally the voltages has to be compatible the current sufficient current has to be provided